Hi, Julie Torrens here. So I'm going to be continuing working on my next journal. And the paper pad that I'm using is called Always Flowers Boho Style from PM Artist Studio. I will link their uh, page there, their .com on my description. I'm going to be also using from PM Artist Studios from Carrie the Crafter and it's a stencil set called uh, Border Collections. So we're going to be using that. And then I also have this stencil, which we've used before, only we used a much bigger one. And this is called Hexagon Dreams. And then this is the, you can see I've used it before. This is the five borders that are in this collection from Carrie the Crafter. And I just think they're handy. We may not use all five, but I think it goes with the theme of what we're doing. And then I just pulled these a few sheets out so that you could see this is the colorway of this particular set. So you can see the colors that I'm working with. I've got a couple more sheets under here. See, you can see here and I've got another one. I'll show you one more. So, so these are the colors that we're going to be working with for this particular journal. So I'm sorry, that's up in your face, sorry. So I've got a 12 by 12 here, and I've got another one handy, I hope. Uh, this one is just kind of a sandy color. It's got a little lacy pattern, but that's going to be the back. And then I want to work on making a master board, and then I can use this for making tags and things. So these are the paints I picked out, the colors. So there's not really a lot of green, but I'm adding a little green. This is the blue that we've seen. And then I grabbed this pink magenta, might be a little bit strong. This is kind of a corally color, but again, kind of strong. And then I also grabbed in some metallics and some pearlized, tipping over. So I've got this kind of an orange. This is just gold, a metallic gold. And this is a pearlized green, and it's called mint chip. And then this is a pearlized pink called pink taffeta. This one's called tiger lily. So these are the colors that I think will kind of go. I'm not going to use all the colors on each board. And I do want to keep in mind, and I'm talking to myself, this is to be a background. I did grab some titanium white because some of these colors seem a little bit strong. So working on this to make a master board, I've got my baby wipes. And let's start out more towards pinks. So I'm going to start out with this magenta and I, I'm going to be putting it on my paper plate, just a little. And like I said, that's a little bit strong. So I've got some white and the acrylics that you're seeing, I've pulled out of my, what I call my bargain bowl. There's some white to just kind of lighten that magenta up just a little bit. And I'm going to add the blue. These were, well, they are daubers from uh, Ranger. This blue is almost gone, but there's still some life in it. Not going to give that up. And I'm going to add the green. So these are the three colors that I'm using. And like I said, they're not exact, but I think they'll complement what we've got going on. I'm going to add a little more white over here. I don't know if you can even see. I'm going to add just a little more white to this. This is almost gone, which is good. I like it when I use up a supply, you know then I feel like this was a good deal. And this was on the clearance of the clearance from Tuesday morning. I'm sorry for the banging, but there we go. 
we need a little more paint <laughs> okay all right now i'm going to grab my baby wipe and this is how i like to do backgrounds i'm going to start with the pink but i'm first going to grab some white and now some pink and let's start swirling this around I touched in the blue, so you're getting a tiny bit of blue here and there, but that's okay. But I like to use this technique for the background of the background because I it dries quick. And I like the organic swirly pattern. Okay, let's go ahead and touch the green. Now, green and pink could make brown, so I've got to be careful. I'm going to add some more white, and let's put the green in. And this is going to be cut. So you want to keep in mind, I want to keep in mind that if this doesn't look like it's, oh, you know, well-balanced, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it's going to be cut. I've got some, what do you call those, cosmetic sponges that I'm going to be using to add the stenciling. I want to try, if I can, to not get too much paint on the other side, so I'm kind of moving things around a little bit. This needs to go up. Let's get the edges. That looks good. A little glob of paint there. And we'll get some of this edge. Okay, good start. Good start. Now, I'm going to add, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm turning this around since I've already got those colors. They still may bleed through a little bit. I'm going to add just a touch of this blue, and I'm grabbing up white to go with it. And I'm just going to kind of Pounce, pounce, pounce a little bit. I'm just trying to add a little texture. I like that. Get some more white, just barely touch the blue. Got more blue this time, that's all right. more white. Pound, pound, noise making, sorry. Let me get all the way to the edge. And you're not going to get pink in every cut. You're not going to get blue in every cut. But a little bit of this and that. All right, I'm liking that. I'm liking it real good. I'm tempted to add more. See if I can get some more of this white on here. All right, let's open it the way I had it before. There we go. Yep, okay. And grabbing up the white, and this time I'm going to grab into the pink. I'm getting a little bit of everything. A little more white, pink. Just 
touch the blue. I'm looking around my desk to see if I could find what's making that noise, but nope, I didn't guess right. Okay, and this corner, going in the white and the pink. Good. A little more white. Yep. I'm liking it. Okay. Right down the middle. Yep. Right down the middle. Okay. All right, pounding off what little bit's left into the trash. Save this, I'm just gonna set it aside. And I think we're done making a mess. So I'm gonna get rid of these sheets for now. Okay. All right, now, time for some stenciling. What am I thinking? I still need my... Oh, that little BB. Can you see it rolling around on my plate? Isn't that cool? Ooh, I'm going to dump it on here. Oh, good. Let's see. Oh, that is cool. I'm just going to roll it around. Well, there's a technique. I think I've got all the paint off of it. Wow. I'm not going to lose that. Whoops. Put it back in the blue. Cool. Okay. Grabbing this up and I'm going to grab a stencil. I'm grabbing the flowers and I want to put some flowers around. Guess it doesn't matter which way. I'm going to go with the metallic gold, at least to start. And this is a Martha Stewart paint. And it's just called yellow gold. Grabbing a sponge. And I want, I don't want it too goopy. So I'm tap, tap, tapping it out on the edge so that it's not such a goopiness right on my end of my sponge. And let's start getting some flowers on here. And this is a very transparent paint. Okay. Oh yes, I hope you can see that. We're gonna put some and I'm just going to, I want them here, there, everywhere. I think that this kind of a flower powery kind of flower reminds me of uh, boho, like the name of the paper. Mm-hmm. Yep. More. this way and I'm keeping in mind this is a background so I don't want it screaming with pattern but I want the pattern to be fairly generous I'm really liking these colors Truly. So what's on your desk? What are you doing? 
What are you working on? What's your what's your current project? I'm very interested. Have you taken a look over at PM Artist Studios? And I am not an affiliate. I am not in any special program of theirs. I simply love their products. I go to their lives as best I can. My work schedule changed, so I haven't been able to be there as often as I would like, but you learn so much in their lives. The P is Patricia, the M is Mariah. They're both artists. Um, Patricia is a retired art school teacher and Patricia, that's Patricia. Mariah is uh, graphic arts and she knows a lot of the technical uh, product use and that's pretty. She knows a lot about graphic arts and the printing process and all of that. As I say, no kidding, I learn so much in their lives. I mean, yeah, we chitter chat and we have fun and there's camaraderie and, and that's all very good, you know, to just hobnob with other artists. And there are some very, very talented artists in the chat. They too add to my knowledge base. And then we have a Facebook group, make makers of mixed media art and artists. And we share our, our makes, we share our thoughts. And that's something that I also really like. And especially uh, if you can't make the lives, they're very beneficial to watch, you know, when it, um, when it comes like the to the replay because the replays are published and you don't feel like well if I'm not in the chat then it's not worth it oh no it, it's definitely worth it and questions that come up in chat they will repeat out loud and because if, if they have a question you may have that question I may have that question I probably do and so there's just a lot of learning which I appreciate I mean, you know, you go to take a class and you're spending, you know, significant amount of money and you can watch a live and get just that much learning right, right then and there. There's times, no kidding, I'm taking notes when they're describing like all the different maybe types of a medium or brands and they, they can describe, they've tried a lot of different brands and they'll describe to you. And it's not their, all their own brands, no. Um, as far as I know, they don't have a line of acrylic paint. They don't have a, a line of gesso. And, but they will tell you, you know, what this is beneficial for, or they found this product was great, but it was uh, very slow drying. Or they'll tell you that, you know, this product worked fantastic but you had to leave your project out in the garage for two weeks because the smell was overwhelming you know so just a lot of of beneficial information oh this is just i'm just i'm just loving this i hope you are because i am loving this i realize i've only used one stencil but I just really like the results, so I'm, I'm going for it. And I have to remember that I've got to do, see, I, I've got a lot in the middle, not too much on the edges. That's me. I've got to remember that the edges, because we're going to cut this, and I, I use every inch. So I don't want to neglect the outer edges. Our weather today is quite chilly. I think it's probably in the 40s, but it's severe clear 
and little white puppy clouds here and there and the sun is just beaming and it's it, it feels like a, a very nice spring day in Michigan. We were supposed to have had snow overnight. If we did, you can't you can't tell by anything that I saw this morning. I didn't see snow on the cars. I didn't see snow on the grass. And I was up early, about 7.30. It's about 1 in the afternoon now. My days of work are normally Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. No, that's what they are now. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for the last week and this week. That's why I'm having a harder time getting into the lives because that just shifted all my days. I used to go every Tuesday, but now I'm working on Tuesdays. And then I watch the replays as much as I can. I like to be with you. I try to get a minimum of, of three videos. Sometimes I only get two, but I try to get three videos out a week. While we're talking about videos, if you like my content, please consider subscribing. I need subscribers. I'm a new channel, a little over a year, but still I consider that new. And subscribers help me so much. Yes, there's the monetization, but there's other things that go along with when you have a, a higher subscription number. You know, I would like to sometime be a affiliate to some places. And yet when you go to apply to be an affiliate, they'll tell you right on there. If you don't have a, if you don't have a YouTube channel with a thousand or what is it? Yeah. A thousand subscribers. Don't bother. And, and I understand, you know, it's work on their part too. And they want to have a certain number of eyes on their products things like that. Now, if you watch my videos with any regularity, I don't know what came about, but I was watching one of my own videos and then and YouTube kept interrupting it right in the middle of things with ads. That's not me. I get no advantage of that. And I did not tell you who, you who, I did not tell YouTube that, that they could do that. They don't ask. Um, but at this point, I also can't tell YouTube to not put them in. I just, they're just going to be there. So I apologize. But, you know, you can just skip through as best you can. But that's not me. I am just as irritated at times especially when I'm really into something and I and I'm I'm learning and studying and paying attention and then boof it all cuts off for an ad and I'm like ah oh. but then when it says after 5 seconds you can skip the ad oh boy I've got that button right at hand get back to what I was doing Beautiful, beautiful. Again, if you like this stencil as much as I do, it's on PM Artist Studios, and it's called Border Collection, and Carrie the Crafter, he has his own YouTube channel. I'll link it. He, um, he's the designer of this particular set of stencils. And I tell you, it's a bargain to get five border stencils you go ahead and check out the prices. There are a carry for one. You go to his channel. He has a discount code that you can use with PM Artist Studios. Uh, so does, uh, what is it? I'm trying to think. Eddie, I don't know. Eddie and, and Art is in his name. I'll link him as well. But he has a, a PM Artist Studio code that you can use the discount code all right I think I've got this pretty well covered with the flowers maybe a few on the edge that I still need to do but like this corner I can see 
is a little shy. Put one right there. Yeah, a few right here. Good. And then I've got kind of a blank space right here. Okay. So check out PM Artist Studios. Check out their lives. They are on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And you can get the times and everything right off of their site. I can't get a whole one here, but I'm just going to tap in a few light ones right there. All right. Now, do I want to add more? I don't think so. I'm really liking this. I am seeing a couple more spaces. Because I really filled this up with the flowers, right? Who am I telling? But I want to get some more. I just think this says boho all over the place. Okay. All right. We're going to call that that. Oh, I'm saying that and I see this whole big space here. See? Julie and the Edges. I dunked this right into the... You grab that baby wipe if I can quick and get this. I don't want this to get all over my master board. Okay. Now we're oh, right here. See, it's an edge. And I think I'm done. And I most certainly am not. Okay. Done. Number one is done. I'm going to put this in the drying rack. I thought I grabbed two of these, but oh, I did. It's not far away. Yay, Julie. It's right here. And this has an eyelet lace pattern on the back. All right. Now, back to my, back to my paper plate and Let's pick out some different colors. I know I'm going to use the gold, but that's at the very end. So I think I'm going, to, I'm going to go with the blue, and I have blue on here. So what were the colors that I didn't use? I didn't use the orange. So I'm going to get some of that on here. I'll put it right here. Good. Good. The orange and the blue. And I've got this corally color. And I'm going to go ahead and put this corally color right where the pink was. It's pretty much dry. But not quite. And then I want to get some white on here again. Now, I know, bang, bang, sorry. And I promise I'll throw this away after this video. So if I can bang some more out. I do like to use my products up. But I can see through the tube. I may have to get stand up and grab another white. But we'll see. Okay, I'm going to grab another baby white. And this time I'm going for... The orange, the coral, and then the blue. Now, if some of this green gets in there, I'm not going to worry about it. But I'm going to start out. Oh, I'm going to start out by protecting my table if I can. And yes, I can get acrylic paint off of this table. This table is kind of a formica type product but it's very smooth it's very hard and so you can get it off but it takes a lot of muscle and I worry about getting scratch marks if I'm using something a little too abrasive on it because then everything will stick so all right quit yammering Julie let's start painting check and double check here we go all right, I'm going to start out with this corally color, and I'm also grabbing just a little bit of white. I'm going to go right here in this corner. 
And I'm going to put some up here. The, the white of the paper also lightens this paint up, which is great. Okay. I'm turning my baby wipe. I'm going into the orange. And again, I'm dabbing into some of the white. Good. Now I'm going to pounce some of this orange right here on this edge. Bang, bang, bang. Sorry for the extra noise. All right. And now the blue. Now I really want to get a glob of white and touch the blue. I still have some of that orange, so it's creating a green color. That's all right. This board is definitely darker than the other board. Why? Because I'm running out of white in that tube. <laughs> That's okay. It really is okay. All right, I'm going to get some of that blue. Pounce around a little bit. Good. All right. Let's find the last of that white, I'm afraid. And I just have a touch of green left. Barely. I'm going to put some right here. I like that. Yes, that looks good. Very good. Okay, turning it around. There was a pounce of that blue that just seemed awfully, awfully bright to me. Um, this is that corally color, so I'm going to just go into the orange. And this is brighter than ever. It's all right. All right. I'm going to pounce some of this again. Good. I'm just going to, any place I just see where I didn't get an edge. I think we're good. All right, now keep the paint tray. This can go away. And now I'm going back to the gold, at least to start. Is that what I wanna do? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm going to change gears. I've got this pink. And this one is called Pink Taffeta. And I'm going on a place on my mat, on my paper plate that I can see is very dry. Putting some of that pink on there. I'm gonna grab another stencil. I'm grabbing my Hexagon Dreams. I'm See, I'm tempted to start here, but then I'm dragging my arm through it. So let's start up here. And I think we can really get rid of this. And that'll get rid of some of the extra noise. All right. Let's get a different sponge than I had. I don't know what I did with that other one, though. Oh, it's here with the gold. Okay. All right. I'm going into the pink, but pouncing off the edge of it because I don't want to get too much. I don't want it too gloopy, gloppy. And here we go. I really like this stencil. So I bought it. Because I like it. And it's really a mask. But I use it more as a stencil. Okay. I hope you can see that. Can you see it? I think it looks pretty. I'll put another one on. So I went the other day to the 
Crafters Outlet. That's one of the things I can do when they change my schedule on me and I have Fridays off because the Crafters Warehouse, Craft Warehouse, it's only open on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So my regular work schedule is that, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I can't go and uh, so it's probably a good thing that I can only go a couple times a year. But they had some paint that, and I'm trying to think of the name. It You normally see the name with paints that come like this, but they had tubes. I'm not familiar with it in tubes. It's not folk art. I don't know. I'll... Maybe I'll stand up and let you know what it what it is. All right, I'm going to go right off the edge here. But I'm going to stay on the master board if I can. But I the tubes, one tube was a little bit more. I don't remember what color. One tube was like $2.25. The rest of them were all a dollar. and But they only had about six colors. And I bought all the colors that they had and they're all kind of in the gold one was kind of a sapia color and one was a more bright yellow but they're gorgeous colors now they're going into the in, in they've already gone into the my bargain bowl but I don't know what the quality is going to be like but I can tell you the tubes are heavy now they had one tube of Liquitex basics and it was I don't know, $2 and something, big tube, big, big toothpaste tube. And so it was definitely less than what it would be anywhere else. Why they had that tube, I have no idea, but it was cerulean blue. And I said, one tube, hanging with the other tubes. But uh, I guess, you know, I've, I've just finished that blue journal and I've kind of, I wouldn't say I'm sick of blue, but I think that affected why I didn't pick it up. <laughs> All right. I'm still going with my hexagon dreams. I just love it. And I love what it's doing to this. And again, I think it speaks of the whole boho vibe. Look at that. I think it's gorgeous. I really do. Am I tooting my own horn? Toot toot. Not really. PM Artist Studio. Ranger paints. A few paints from Martha Stewart. A couple of paints from Martha Stewart. Oh, uh, Jane Davenport. So, a lot of people to thank. I'm using right now as a Martha Stewart Pearl. It, it came in a, um, a set. Often when you can find sets, the price per individual container, be it a tube or a, a bottle, is, is usually cheaper. Check it out. It's not That's not 100%, but it often is. I am kind of knitting these together like hexagons on a quilt. I didn't plan to start out that way, but I like the results of this so much that I my my needle is stuck in a groove. Yep. I think this is pretty. I like the way it is kind of joining up all the colors, even though we're going to be cutting it. Hopefully, we'll be getting more than one color per item that we cut out of here. And I just think this kind of marries the colors up so nice. I like this kind of a, of a board. You know, when I was first starting out in this, in this whole thing of mixed media, paper arts and stuff, I wasn't too nuts about 12 by 12s that were only printed on one side. Now I love them. I love them because I can do this on the other side. And yet 
the side that they've printed, I can make it be a companion color or a companion pattern to what I already have going, but they often are more subtle. Am I saying I'm not subtle? I'm not subtle. But what it does is then it usually makes a nice writing space for journal making, which even before making journals, I liked having writing space on the back of making tags, bookmarks, um, artist trading cards. I, I like that. So that just worked really well for me. Now to just pick up 12, and many times those are the ones that are on sale, are the ones that are only printed on one side. Sometimes it's your store brands. But when you're going to places like me, Crafters Craft Warehouse, or um, if you're going to the big box, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, um, the range, which we don't have here, but I've seen videos of people at range and it reminds me very much of, of Michael's or the Joanne Craft area. Wow, I am right at the bitter edge here, which is great. And I think I have just enough paint. I'm sure I do. Okay. Yes. All right. I'm seeing a few little places. I may need to add just a little more paint because I've seen some little spaces that I want to get covered. I don't want it to speak of an edge. You know, I don't want, I don't want it to look like, oh, the design ended and it shouldn't kind of a look. I don't like that. So I'm just gonna fill in, even if I just get a few, see that moved, it's okay. Just if I get a, a, a little suggestion of something, your, your brain will fill in the, the rest. Mm hmm and then just this corner right here see now I have leftover paint I liked it better the other way okay very good all right we've got two beautiful in my opinion two beautiful boards we've got this board and I just think that as brilliant as some of these colors seemed, I just think that this uh, this pearlized pink really pushed it back. And here's our other board. With our little design that happened from that little BB. Okay. These are going to dry. They're going to be cut into tags, journaling cards, and other ephemera. In the meantime, if you enjoyed the content, thank you for being here for the whole video. Thumbs up. It helps me a lot. Please consider subscribing. Share it with your friends. I look forward to seeing you in another video. Bye now.